Hi, my name is Ronnie Cruz. After almost two decades as a career network marketer, I realized that despite continual work on my personal and professional development, that I had hit a massive brick wall. So I took a deep and honest look at myself, top to bottom, hoping to find answers. And my search led me to one conclusion. The definitions I held of my business, of my world, of my life, were the very things holding me back. If I wanted to change, if I wanted to grow beyond my current circumstances, I had to wipe the slate clean and redefine. This show is dedicated to helping you identify the belief systems, the mindsets, the very definitions that have held you back, and then help you break through those limitations to finally create the life you've been working so hard to achieve. Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> well, as of the release of this episode, um, that means tomorrow is the Redefine Network Marketing event. Tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, Redefine Network Marketing is happening live on Zoom virtual event. Um, it's not too late to register. So if you haven't registered yet, go to RonnieCruz.com slash redefine. All right. So we're going to continue our conversation from yesterday and talk about putting on your first paid offering, your first paid course. Yesterday, I talked about the emotional roller coaster uh, that can really contribute to your overwhelm when doing something like this, when doing something new, especially doing something that's a paid offering where the stakes are higher. Um, the other thing that can add to overwhelm is just the sheer mechanics, right? Not knowing the logistics of putting on uh, a live event, whether it's uh, virtual or not. Even with virtual events, they can be uh, pretty intensive as far as the mechanics go. And and even with this one coming up, I, yeah, I don't necessarily feel that I have it where I want it in terms of the mechanics and, and logistics of it, right? Like it's not exactly um, as as pretty <laughs> and refined um, as I was hoping it would be. Um, but it's still going to go on regardless because of, yeah, I just want to do it, right? I set, I set my date on, on uh, May 4, 5, and 6. Um, so I gave myself this target to do this thing. Anyways, um, the, thing, the thing about logistics and, and the mechanics of putting on a, a paid offering is that there is a lot, right? And if you're like me, if you're a creative, we just like to create. We don't pay attention to logistics and mechanics. We we create our thing and 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 we share it, right? Like that's that's our main thing and that's what we want to focus on. Given that especially early in the early stages of of your journey, um it's just us, right? We're, we're a company of one person, so we have to wear a lot of hats and we have to pay attention to the logistics and the mechanics of, of all this stuff. Otherwise, um, none of our stuff ever gets out and we never make any money. So logistics is, is an important consideration. I would, I would say my, my advice is take your time. Take it one step at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed. Remember, overwhelm is, is the killer, right? It, it will throw you off and, and you'll end up not following through and seeing, seeing your, your, uh, your dream to fruition. Um, so don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. Take your time. Take it one piece at a time. Um, with me, this is what it looked like in terms of the mechanics, right? A lot of moving pieces, obviously. So I took it one, one, one piece at a time. The first was registration, right? Registra registration for an event. I don't know how to set it up. Um, so I had to figure that out. And so I, did, I focused on that particular angle, that particular mechanic, um, when I did my um, Influencer Masterclass back in March. Right? It was a three-day event, one hour a day, um, and it was free. So there was there wasn't as much pressure and, and there wasn't you know it wasn't super high stakes, um, but the main focus for the mechanic side was registration and, and emails right getting people registered and then and then being able to send out emails to all the registrants um, so that was fine I got that handled um, then I got to April I did the network marketing in the digital age seminar I did that multiple times actually so the registration part was like okay yeah no big deal I got that done how do I collect money? Um, so I figured that part out and, and, and I, uh, you know, was able to do pre-sales for the May 4th event that's happening tomorrow. Um, so you see how with each event, with each, um, uh, course, I've added a, another mechanic, another logistic or multiple mechanics and multiple logistics, right? Um, if I had tried to do that all at once and, and, you know, with my first thing being a paid course, I would have been too overwhelmed. There would have been too much to handle on top of 
really yeah the content on top of the emotional journey right right all right so so i want i like the main i think uh, you know, idea, the main principle behind yesterday and today's episode is alleviate as much of the overwhelm as you can. Um, you know, uh, yesterday, obviously, we talked about that. But today, it's it's just taking it one by one bite at a time and taking it um, one step at a time. Uh, I know that there the notion is, well, yeah, I want you to make money as quickly as possible. And of course, I do. I want you to make money as quickly as possible. But I, I also want you to understand that this is not um, a short term thing. Right. Like you're in this thing to build something long term for yourself and to rush into turning a uh, turning a profit um, at the expense of potentially. Well, yeah, being overwhelmed and throwing in the towel and never seeing it through in the first place, then which would you rather do? Take your time and get a handle on one mechanic and one logistic at a time. Right. Obviously, obviously. Um, So, yeah, just just consider that. Just consider that. Also, the other the other thing that that allowed me to do right not only did it allow me to to be able to kind of manage each mechanic and logistic um, and now get a good handle on it. But however, it also allowed me to put my primary focus for each of those events. Right. It, It allowed me to put my primary focus and energy on the content. Right. Because I wasn't overwhelmed with the mechanics because I was only doing one mechanic at a time, one logistic at a time. Then I could really always focus on the content. And that's what I want you to do. Focus on the value that you're providing with each piece of content that you're putting out there, whether it's paid content, whether it's free content. Content is has to be your primary focus, the value that you put in. Right. The value that you put in. If, if you're if you deliver a high level of, of, of value in your content, if you over deliver in your courses, whether they're paid or free, um, then, you know, all the other kind of frills and the bells and whistles doesn't matter. Like if it goes sideways, if, so, if you have technical difficulties or if the Zoom doesn't work, your Internet goes out, whatever it might be. Um, as long as the content is of high value and you over deliver every time. None of none of the none of the the foibles and the mistakes of of the logistics um, really will even matter. And none of it will matter. Uh, you can you can really bare bones it and and just bootstrap this thing with doing a, a zoom and uh, and you know sending out a very very basic email registration and and you can you, yeah you can make lots of money just doing that. Um, and as long as you're providing high value and over delivering in your content right in the course. So that's the primary. That's the primary. And that that's what, you, you know, alleviating overwhelm will allow you to do is over deliver. Right. Because that's what you always want to do. That's 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 the that's the mentality of excellence. That's the mentality of a high achiever, regardless of whatever else is going on in terms of like uh, it doesn't look pretty enough and production value and et cetera, et cetera. Well, as long as you're delivering the content at a high level then then it's going to take care of itself everything takes care of itself now i will of course uh get back to you after it's done and let you know how it's how it goes i'll i'll, I'll share with you my reflections once the uh, event is done i i i would wager to say that uh, i'll be critical <laughs> it's normal and, and i think uh, i think w- what ends up happening is when you do an event you end up thinking that it went a lot worse than it actually did right Right. And I think, it, you know, it ends up always going better than than you think it did. Um, you know, and, and again, I'll share with you my experience once that happens. Once we're done with the event, uh, I'll talk about it uh, on the show. So, I mean, all the more reason to number one, <laughs> register for the event and join us at the Redefined Network Marketing um, uh, event virtual um, or also and also uh subscribe to the show right if you're not if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe so you know how it goes and i i will share with you you know how the story ends <laughs> right and also if you're listening to this on the podcast um hit the plus sign at the top of the app and and you'll know how it goes um because i'll be sharing that sharing my reflections in a few days but um that's my ma- main message my main message for today and really just a summation from yesterday as well is alleviate as much of the overwhelm as possible both from the emotional side manage that that um, and uh, and the logistics and mechanics side manage that um, so that you can uh, healthily make progress um, to the eventuality of a paid uh, of a paid offering and and that way your primary focus can and always should stay on the content the value in the content that you're delivering all right all right so that's it that's the message for today more from me tomorrow so until then be well be safe we'll see you in the next episode